Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today we're having a species spotlight. Now it's been a hot minute since I was able to do one of these simply because I haven't been getting in more species. However, when I was at the catfish convention, my friend Becca gave me a few species of shrimp to play around with. One of which is one I've never worked with before, and that's the pinto shrimp. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, historically, I do not work with these shrimp because they are a hybrid, and you guys know I'm a bit of a purist. But I couldn't say no because they really are beautiful, and I thought it would really benefit you guys to learn a little bit more about them. So let's take a look, and I'll tell you more about them. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I'm not a big fan of hybrids and that's because the vast majority of shrimp species still found in the wild have habitats that are critically threatened. That being said, when my friend Becca offered me this shrimp, I figured it was a good opportunity to share them with you guys and just talk a bit more about them. There's no denying that they are absolutely beautiful. Now generally speaking, Pinto shrimp are created by producing or by crossbreeding Taiwan bees or things like crystal reds or blacks back with tigers which produce Thai bees. Then Thai bees are crossed back to a bee shrimp um, in order to produce Thai Thai bees and then they're selectively bred for the color pattern called Pinto. Generally speaking, Pintos have stripes down their back and either a red or a black base color. You can see that I have the black ones here. Now, often the red ones will fetch a higher price, but my preference is always for the black forms. I, I don't know why, it's just personal preference. Then, Pinto is the description of the pattern. It's not really a breed of shrimp, and they're graded by the definition of the stripes that they have, how many they are, how, the opacity of the white, and uh, sort of the even nature of those stripes. These guys are sort of lower grade, um, not really having delineated clear stripes and then sometimes they're bred to have spots on their head which is then called galaxy pintos. Because these guys are hybrids their genetics are not particularly stable though this can be reinforced by selectively breeding the shrimp that you produce. There's no denying that they're absolutely beautiful but I would still love for more people to focus, focus on the wild types of shrimp available in the hobby. Uh, similar to other Caradina species, these guys really prefer things on the cooler side with a temperature range of 60s to low 70s being best. Very dilute water with a TDS under 100 and low carbonate hardness. And a pH range anywhere from 5 to up to about 7. Now if you house them in warmer or harder water than they prefer, they don't necessarily die right away. However, they can reproduce quite slowly or not at all and they're best maintained in a tank with at least neutral if not soft water parameters. For the vast majority of hobbyists this would mean RO water. My source water is very dilute with a TDS of only about 100 so they are doing quite well in my tap water however I'll probably add uh, some sort of substrate that pulls out a bit more hardness once they're done their quarantine. As with any species I add to my fish room, I'll quarantine, the, quarantine these guys for a month of health before giving them an actual display aquarium, which is why they're in an aquarium right now that has one simple piece of wood and a little bit of moss, just for their comfort and for grazing surfaces. As with any shrimp, shrimp it's really important to not overfeed, as their tanks will be prone to secondary pests like planaria, hydra, etc. So while these guys are a hybrid, they are quite beautiful and I just thought it would be valuable for me to work with them simply to tell you guys a bit more about them and show some of the line bred diversity that's becoming more and more popular within the shrimp hobby. As always, thanks for your continued support. Let me know your opinions below of hybrids down in the comments section.